Welcome to a new YouTube video. This time we want to show you how we pack the Corpus 3T bags and how to correctly handle the cables. Here we have the XL bag variant and this is the XXL bag variant in the Bavaria Special Edition. Verena is going to quickly show us what is hidden in all the pockets. Absolutely, from our point of view, the ECG monitoring cable and oximetry are located on the outer left. The outer right holds blood pressure measurement and capnometry. Additionally, you will find the resting ECG cable on the inner left and the feedback sensor for resuscitation. The temperature measurement and invasive pressure measurement are on in the right. There is also a pocket on the back of the device. This contains two sets of defibrillation electrodes. One of them is already pre-connected and the other is a replacement. You can also see these two belt loops, which have a magnetic closure at the top. They can be easily opened and closed by sliding. If you're using the device in modular mode, you can use them to attach the patient box. When opening the bags, be sure that the zippers are completely open. As an example, I take the pulse oximetry cable out. As you can see, the cable falls out of the bag neatly and it's ready for use. To get the same effect, we advise you to stow the cable in figure eights. This helps to avoid cable breaks, which mainly happen inside the cable where they cannot be noticed immediately. I start at the device end and loop the cable in the direction of the loose end, over my thumb and little finger. This prevents internal cable breakage due to twisting and allows to store the cable orderly in the bag. As soon as the figure eight is finished, the cable goes into the bag. I can close up the bag and I am ready to go. I would like to show you a few special features of the CO2 cable. We need to make sure that as soon as the sensor is not being used on the patient, the two sensors must face each other in the holder provided. This will prevent false alarms. The cuvettes are stored in the pockets below the cable and can easily be removed from here. When opening the inside right pocket, you will immediately recognize the Prime CPR Easy Feedback Sensor and the temperature probe can be found in the pocket below. Since this would always measure the temperature of the inner pocket without patient contact, it is only plugged in when the temperature probe has been placed on the patient. Well Andy, we have packed everything together neatly. We hope you have too. Until next time. Thank you.